Hi, it's Nell, and today is all about cutting back my lucky bamboo. So if you're interested to see what's going on with that, stick around. I upload videos on a regular basis here at YouTube, all about gardening, indoor plants, succulents, bromeliads, pruning, repotting, all that kind of good stuff. So if you like that sort of content, subscribe because I would love to have you come back. So I went swimming first thing this morning instead of filming this video. So yes, there, that buzzing that you hear in the back, that is the, the cicadas all around. So if they bother you, you can always read the blog post. And speaking of the blog post, there's gonna be more information in the blog post anyway. And the link to that will be down below and also on my blog, joyousgarden.com. Now, Lucky Bamboo is actually not really a bamboo. It is a Dracaena. That's why I have my Dracaena lemon lime here um, because it just looks good anyway. And I'm gonna water it after this because I am leaving tomorrow early in the morning for San Diego, so I'm I'm trying to get this video done before I go. And this is something that I've never done before. I've never cut back a Lucky Bamboo. It's a totally new experience for me and I wanted to share it with you. And you'll also um, see clips from last year when I, just after I cut it back and as, and as I was cutting it back, you'll see that. You'll see how the plant was coming back because I wasn't sure how fast it would come back, what would happen, any of that. So uh, this is all my experiences um, in this a new experience for me. <laughs> so why I cut my Lucky Bamboo back is because the stems were getting really tall and spindly and it just, wasn't looking like how I wanted it to look, so that's why I cut them back. Now, the Lucky Bamboo stalks that you will soon see are a spiral or curled. They call them different things. I think they usually call them spiral. And um, I've had them for, I think about eight years, and I'm not quite sure how old they actually were when I got them. So they aren't young. And now I'm gonna turn the camera off because there are helicopters going by. <laughs> okay, the helicopter has passed. So my point before is my lucky bamboo aren't really young, they're getting older. So I'm not quite sure what happens to them as they get really old because I haven't had, I, I, th I think this is the longest I've ever had in a Lucky Bamboo, so I'm not quite sure ultimately how long they actually live for growing in water. Because in their native environments, they don't grow in water, they grow in damp environments, but not in the water, so it's not an aquatic plant. You can also grow this plant in soil by the way, as many people do. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna insert all the clips that were taken last year and also earlier this year. I started this in fall of 2018. It is now July of 2019. So um, let's go on with those clips and you can see what I did. So you can see that I cut most of the foliage off. There was growth coming out here and here and there and there. And I don't know, I don't think there was anything down there, but and I cut it off here, so now I'm going to take off this one here, and my pruners are nice and sharp, and I'm just gonna go as close to the cane as I can, just like that. 
Now because this does have a piece of stem or stalk to it, I can propagate this in water. So I'm going to put this in water right now. And then by the time this video is ready to post, it should have some roots. So here you can see how many of the lower leaves I took off. I just peeled them off. And now it's set for water. Okay, and here is the lucky bamboo shoot. The one stem, I sh should say stem that I saved. And as you can see, there's a little root there. I put it on this University of Arizona magazine because it's dark. So you can see the root right off there to the left. And I cut it back on October 10th. Oops, hold the camera steady. And I'm looking at the calendar here. And then I first saw it on October 24th. So it takes about two weeks to start rooting. And I'm going to leave it uh, so the more roots can form. Okay, so I took my lucky bamboo outside so you could see better. It is December 18th and I'm noticing a sprout forming out of a node here. Uh, then we'll go over the other side and there's another one forming over there. Okay, so there's one right there. And then it looks like there's going to be one coming out of there also. So it's March 20th, first day of spring. The smallest stalk has a little bit of growth appearing. There's that one growing a bit. And then that one is actually coming out from the bottom. So here is my lucky bamboo, how it looks today. You can see how it has come back. It's not an extremely fast process, seeing I started it last October. And this right here, the yellowing stalk, is relatively new. That just started about three weeks ago. So that hasn't been there for all that long. And speaking of yellow stalks, I'm going to do a separate video on some reasons why the stalks turn yellow on the Lucky Bamboo and why I believe mine is turning yellow. So be sure to look out for that. I'll, I'll try to post it in September. Now, I not only cut the stems back, I call these the stems and these the stalks or the canes. That's what they're usually called in the Dracaena world, a, a cane. Um, this one, I actually cut the cane back a little bit. This one I did too, but that one looks good. And I can't remember if I cut the cane back. I did not cut them back very far at all if I did cut them back. Um, I know I did cut back a couple of them. I just don't remember exactly which ones, except obviously for that one. And all these videos I do for you were all based on my experience, what I've learned over the years, because I've been working with plants for a long time. If you want to read about or watch my journey with houseplants and plants, I'll leave the link to that post and video in the uh, post about this, this process I'm doing here. So as I said, this is something I haven't done before and I don't read that much about plants online unless it's something totally new and some reports or some I've read some places that you can cut lucky bamboo stalks back and I've read some places that you shouldn't cut the stalks back so I'm not quite sure which is which but um, this is what is happening with mine so I expect that this is obviously going to die, but I will get more into that on the other video. But these are doing just fine and they are growing. And I keep the water level right about there. I don't keep it up to here, just so the roots are nice and submerged.
So I wasn't expecting the uh, stalk or the cane to turn yellow, but obviously it did. So I'll be dealing with that when I get back, but it's not really a quick process for the lucky bamboo to grow back. And that is basically what I wanted to see what and how long it, it was going to take. So I thought you might be interested in that in case you ever want to cut your lucky bamboo booze back also. I've done a care post on lucky bamboo along with a couple other posts and videos on them. So you can find those in the blog post that goes along with this video. So I'm going to go finish watering the rest of my many, many plants. I hope you have found this to be helpful. And I have a lot more videos coming your way. I hope to be back with more of our regular schedule in September. So keep your eyes open for some more videos. And I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. I appreciate them. Now let's get out in the garden or into our indoor gardens. Most people grow lucky bamboo indoors, so it is much more of an indoor plant and make our worlds a more beautiful place. As always, I thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.